Hi, welcome back. In the previous video, I explained to you that usually if you want to use the VLOOKUP function, you're going to want to use false as the last parameter because you want to be warned if a certain value isn't found when integrating to worksheets. However, there are scenarios though where true is the good choice. And in this video, I will explain you when you have to use true. So, for instance, when we're doing this analysis. In this new worksheet I've created, we're going to have a detailed look into the use of margins. So, for instance, you had a talk with your sales director and he said, hey, I would like to know for what product we have a good margin and for what other products our margin could be increased, maybe. So, first of all, for each code, we're going to look up the margin. And this is still just an old fashioned VLOOKUP with a false, where we're going to the product info and we're turning the sixth column, which is the margin. And we change it again, don't forget the dollar signs, it's really important that you remember that. And then you drag the formula down and you have all the margins. Now we want to do the analysis on top of it. So we want to know, is this a good margin or a bad margin? we can input a formula. For that, a simple conditional formula that we talked about in previous videos, we just say, if our margin is, let's say, smaller than 20%, then it's bad. In the alternative case, if it's bigger than 20%, but still smaller than 30, we're going to say the margin is okay. And in other cases, if it's above 30, then we're going to say, yes, our margin on this product is good. So yes, we can do this with a conditional formula, formula, just draw the drag the formula down and we have it. Ah, there's nothing wrong with it, but we are nesting conditions here and you should remember from previous videos that if you're nesting a lot of conditionals, then a formula can get complicated. You might not expect it, but this is actually a very good scenario to use a VLOOKUP. It's really different from looking up values over two tables, but actually the VLOOKUP applies here. And let me show you how. What we can do here is add a table in our worksheet where we add the classification. So we say for a margin of everything above zero, the classification is going to be bad. Everything between zero and 20 is going to be okay. And everything above 20, between 20 and 30 is going to be good. The exact same classification as we just put into the conditional formula. Now we can get rid of the whole if, the nested if that we didn't really like, and put a VLOOKUP there. We're going to look for the value of the margin in this new margin table. We're returning the second column, and then we're going to add true. Because we don't want to look for 22, we know it 22 is not in the table, we want to look for the closest margin that there is to 22. And you see that the functionality of this VLOOKUP is exactly the same as the functionality of the IF. And doing it this way, you can see it's very easy because if I want to change something in my table, you just saw me change OK into uppercase OK. I can just do that in the table. I don't need to change the formulas. I just change my table and all the formulas are updated. Even more so, if I want to add another classification, like 40% is the best margin there is, I can just add it to my table, update the lookup table, and then my condition is updated. Whereas if I should I do that with an if, then I would have gotten another branch of the if, and my formula would get longer and longer and longer. And with this VLOOKUP solution, it doesn't matter how many classifications I have. If I have 100, this formula will still be one VLOOKUP. Whereas if I have 100 classifications in a conditional formula, then I will have 100 if, or actually I would have 99 ifs, but that would still be a lot. So if you are classifying things, if you're dividing a certain value into different categories using an if, then I hope you remember this scenario. You could use a few lookup with true to substantially simplify your formulas in such a scenario.